So today is a sad day. We're saying goodbye to Domani. Turns out we've had some problems with the seat post binder and uh, Trek Burnaby. The mechanic's really good there, but the manager's a real clown show. He tried to accuse me of wrecking it, and I've had problems with them. So uh, head office has decided to warranty the frame set, and I'm dropping the bike off at West Point Cycles, and they're going to do a swap for a new one. Not happy about it, um, especially after all the work, but uh, at least it's getting replaced. Hey guys, today we're talking Domani, specifically the seat post, the seat post binder bolt, and the seat tube. I had some problems with mine, and I had to have the frame set replaced and warrantied. So hopefully none of these problems are affecting yours, and we'll run through it. Uh, just a couple of Q&As. Do I recommend the Domani still? Yes, 100%, without a doubt. It's a super comfortable bike. It's a super fun bike. Um, I had an lo incident locally with the manager here. He didn't seem to want to help me, but the corporate uh, entity track... Uh, the company is a great company. Uh, the customer service there is second to none. They've always been willing to help, and they're spot on with their tech support. I recommend them. They're good people. They're passionate people, and they like bikes just like you and I. Um, is there room for improvement on the Domani and simplification? Yes, well, 100%. A lot of these bikes need to become more simpler, and we wouldn't be seeing these uh, uh, predicaments. This is the stock post after a year or so I went to make an adjustment. Uh, the local store had to extract the bolt that was compromised due to being seized and this is the condition that they returned it to me in. You can see the pressure it takes to make it move. Very little, I'm using just two fingers here, so. In Main Street, I hate Main Street. It sucks to drive down here, a pain in the ass. I rode this bike for an hour and 45 minutes and I heard a clunk and the saddle dropped and the nose was tilted down and upon closer inspection, I see this crack. And I never adjusted the fore aft or the height as it was already marked and adjusted when I got the bike back. So the post issue was still there and it was wiggling around and the rep decided to offer me a replacement frame and I just wrote it the way it was indoors for the next month and a half. And while we're talking about defects, look at the gouging on these cables. These are the shift cables and I've barely ridden this bike outside in the last year. Imagine if that was your brake cables. It would be very dangerous. So it's very sharp here. It's something to keep an eye on and maybe you want to wrap that in some sort of a protective sleeve. Got the bike back now, just need some customization. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take apart your seat post binder bolt, clean it and put it back together. And hopefully nothing that's happened to mine is happening to yours. And it's gonna be all good because apparently there's only been a handful of these that have uh, had this uh, kind of defect. So um, hope for the best and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be pulling up that new Prismatic Black SLR.